Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Again, it's another day of sourcing. So off to the boot sale this morning. Just got some money, so I'm all ready to go. Um, I was listening to a bit of advice from Tekken Sports, um, which I'm in his group. Um, and when he was actually saying he negotiates, he, if it's a fair price at the boot sale, he doesn't negotiate. So I'm gonna try and give that a go today. Um, I'm definitely looking for um, everything today. So I'm gonna like um, vlog you, take you around and show you what I pick up. Right, all set, and I've just arrived at the boot sale. Um, on the way here, I was actually just thinking to myself, like, is it possible to actually go around vendors and actually be the yes man? So if it's a fair price, do I just agree to the deal that they offer? So I might actually see if that will kind of uh, make any difference. Um, it'd be nice if I can make, start making some relationships to actually get stock on a regular basis. Um, I don't know if actually not haggling on the price makes a big difference, but even with me, like, I'm wondering whether I'll even be able to do it without uh, haggling, but uh, we'll we're, we're, we're give it a go. So um, let's get into the field. Morning, mate. All right. Yeah, all good, thank you. Oh. How much you got in your docks? It's going to be 50, but you can have it for 40. Nice. Yeah, definitely nice. I'm going to have a little wander around. Like, if I think, would you do like a deal on two? If, uh... Yeah, do okay. Give me like a couple yeah. of minutes. That, that is fair. Morning. How much are you looking in your jacket? Um, that one's labelled, it's not been worn. Oh, okay. sorry. No, that, no oh. that's fine. No, no, but just saying there's a difference between the ones. Got you. So, yeah. so that one would be um, 30. Okay. So I'm going to quick look to see what its lining is. Well, I'll have a think about that. Yeah. But thank you anyway. Yeah, you Appreciate that. Perfect. Absolutely. Morning, how are we doing? How much are you on your uh, the trainers? Uh, 20. 20. Trying to see what size they are. Five, I wanted to say. Four and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. Well, I'm a five. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Would you do 15? Yeah, that's fine. I'll, um, I'll leave for the moment. Yeah, like, okay, like, if they're still here, like, in about, like, like half an hour, I'll come and see. Yeah, okay then. But thank you anyway, I appreciate that. Yeah. 
Yeah. How much you got on your uh, trainers? Uh, six quid, take a fiver. Go on then, I'll do five. There you go, buddy. Right, Thank you very much. Nice and you. Morning, how are we doing? Um, Sorry, I'll wait for you till I put stuff out. Oh, I just put that one out. No, no, I was just looking. I was... <laughs> <laughs> how rude, I've never been so... <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh. You got the ear all the way, okay, okay. We do anything on that? Wouldn't go any lower than 20 at all, no. Okay. I'll do 20. Yeah? Yeah, that's Thank fair. You. I've been looking for one of these. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, I was like, I needed, I was going to buy one new. Yeah, but... oh yeah, that's the thing. I know how much they are new, so yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's one of those where... Perfect. Yeah, we, we're starting to move around, so I think. Okay. So I'll get a more of a lapel mic from them instead. Which, I, to be fair, is what I use anyway, uh, but... What do you do with the... Uh, vlogging and, oh, nice. um, so, YouTube. Oh, amazing. So, yeah, I do nice and bits and pieces. Oh, nice. But uh, I've been, like, sticking with uh, just, like, the, the audio mic on, like, yes. it's not quite the same, yeah, is it? Thank Spot on. Much. No, thank you. Really appreciate that. You have a good rest of the day. Yeah, thank you. See you later. Yeah. It is a till, yes. I have seen one, though. I know, and I, I, it does open, but I can't remember. Um, is the price in there, is that the best price you'd do on those ones? I think 30 is the absolute Yeah, okay. Nice. They're cool, but... Yeah, I, I know they're no, no. Hard, but my son tells me that they are limited. They are. Limited. No, they, he's absolutely right. They are like a limited edition we version. Don't know much about yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to be honest, but... Yeah. That's I think that, um, I'll be honest. I, like, I will sell them on eBay. That's oh, what I do. Okay. Um, and realistically, like I think I might get like in the forty to fifty oh, on okay. eBay. Um, but after eBay takes all their fees, yeah. obviously. No, um, so yeah, I, I'd probably be able to like do twenty. But I appreciate that's quite a lot lower. Um, I'll I'll leave them there. Okay, like I'll, I'm here for a little while, and okay. like, I'll come see you again on eBay. Yeah, no, no, that's no, absolutely no, fine. No, 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 don't be sorry. Because like. I think, you know, he might have a smash it in the way himself, if not. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's it for the boot sale. I'm going to call it a day now. Didn't pick up too many, but I'll get home and actually show you what I physically did buy. Um, how did I get on with me trying to be the yes man and actually like, kind of, like, agree to like prices that um, the sellers wanted? Absolutely horrendously. Like, it just, like... I suppose like when the prices are quite high um, it's just hard to kind of justify that and you've still got to look at the margins so for me like it just on most of like the things I was asking about they just didn't work for me unfortunately um, but onwards and upwards so I'll get home and actually show you what I picked up um, and uh, yeah we're carrying on from there right back from the car boot show and um Picked up a few bits, nothing like too special. Um, I think eight. I think you should have like, seen most of them when I actually like, was walking around, but uh, I'll quickly run through it. First part, uh, first one, which is a pair of chinos. So these are Under Armour. Um, they're kind of like the golf style. So we're just coming up for that season. Uh, good size as well, 36 inch waist. And 
and we've got a couple of jackets. First one looks in brand new condition actually. So this is by Milwaukee, the, um, the tool company. So it's a fairly lightweight jacket. Um, I think it's actually just a polyester filled one. But yeah, like, nice condition that one. And then we've got a jacket. So this is like a barber. So it's a wax jacket, this one. Nice and heavy duty. Looks in really, really good condition as well. Can't see any like kind of rough marks or anything like that. So hopefully I should do like well with that one. See if I can see what the actual type is, because it normally tells you. So it's the Bushman jacket, this one. Um, so yeah, that should be nice. And then a couple of other bits which are kind of like, I suppose still what I kind of like I'm happy to sell, which is um, some shoes and trainers. First one, these are pretty, they definitely need to like go in the, uh, the washing machine. But these are a pair of like Adidas. They've got the Ultra Boost, um, kind of, so that should be like reasonable. Um, and they look reflective as well. Um, they look like kind of a walking boot, oh, sorry, a walking trainer. So I will double check. I'll get all the comps and codes on that one, but they will definitely be going in the washing machine. And then we've got a pair of boots. So these are Caterpillar boots. I think they might even be still toe capped, but super, super condition. They've even got the um, kind of, uh, yeah, like really deep tread on them. Brown leather as well, uh, good size, size 11. So yeah, nice big size on those ones. Um, and then another pair of trainers, slightly smaller ones. These are the Dunks, the Nike SB Dunks. You can tell by the Dunks, you've actually got this bit just on the sole. Kind of gives you an idea that it's actually, I think, I'm not too particularly big. I think they're five and a half. But nice, I think that colorway is the wolf gray, if I remember rightly. But uh, yeah, nice, nice condition. Just need a little bit of a wipe over. Um, and then a couple of books. First one, Stephen King. Always does really well, Stephen King. Whether this one will do like very well on its own, um, I'm not sure. I'll check comps, but yeah, paid uh, two pounds for that. And also a Harry Potter. Um, the only reason I picked this one up is I had a quick look in it to see that it is actually a first edition. So it's first edition, like Harry Potter, uh, Order of the Phoenix. I think it's the fifth one in the series. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if it has too much value on its own. So I'll make a decision on whether I actually hold on to it and see if I can get the others. But the last one, um, and this is, I think is going to be more for personal, which is a microphone. All right, so I've actually been looking for one of these like, for a while. So this is a Yeti, um, and it's called the Blue Yoda. Um, feels really, really like and a great quality. I've just checked to make sure it all works. All seems to be like good at the moment. Um, yeah, it comes with the cables as well. I paid 20 for that. Um, and these ones can do that. Uh, like, they can go for like really good money, those ones. But I think that's going to be a personal. So that's it. That's what I picked up today. Not a vast amount, but um, hopefully you found that interesting. Um, it's nice to get out and about into the uh, the field again, uh, just get a bit of uh, fresh air. Um, definitely enjoying that part of it. Um, but uh, yeah, back at the uh, storage unit. So I thought I'd actually um, do a little bit of a picking and packing. Um, not done this for a while, so I will just quickly run through a few of them. Um, so this is actually from uh, end of Saturday and all of Sunday's orders. So there's about 22 orders, but I'm just going like, to pick out a few of the ones which I think might be of some, some interest. The other ones are just like fairly standard bread and butter, which probably everyone would know. Um, so yeah, I'll um, quickly you know, do this and uh, show you what I've um, got going out the door right so i'm gonna like run through these ones uh i've already done my labels they're all ready to go um and the first part one which is a pair of running tights so these are 2xu so one two five three eight three so 
So these are still new in the box. So as you can see, just on there, I've got my SKU, SKU number at the back. I'm going to go straight into a poly mailer. Um, I've just got um, a thank you card. Um, I'm waiting for my um, normal thank you cards to actually be printed and sent back to me. Hopefully that'll be in the next couple of days, but I've still got like these ones to send out. That's the first one. Next, we've got a pair of diesel jeans, one, two, nine, five, six. Six diesel jeans. Still blown away that uh, how good diesel is as a brand. Um, not specifically for everything, but jeans definitely seem to be doing quite well. Some of them like, can, can be worth like a good amount of money. I so would definitely say like keep an eye out for those. Right after that, we have a jacket. So not particularly the season for it now, but they're still selling. So it's a Napa Ritchie jacket, 12909. Bright yellow one, this one. And you see. So it certainly didn't like have last too long. These are uh, if you can buy them cheap enough, they can definitely like and both get you a nice profit on something like that. Right. And then we've got, after that, we've got a polo shirt. Um, don't see this too often, actually. This is quite a rare brand. So it's called Shanghai Tang. So one, two, nine, six, three. So that's the thing. So if I can show you, that's the what to look out for. So yeah, Shanghai Tang, good brand. That's going international, so that's not staying in this country. I think it might even be going to Asia, I think. Right. And then we've got another one, which is a sort of hoodie. That's a Nike hoodie, so it's the Tech Fleece, 12503. So there we go, it's Tech Fleece. And to be fair, I think that one's going out uh, international as well. I had quite a few international I use uh, Global Shipping, GSP. Right, then we got, not actually put down what it was, but it's by Arnie, 10242. Right, so it's actually a polo shirt. So you see Arnie polo shirt. And the last one for the ones that are kind of any interest, which is like a puffer jacket. Um, it's by Musto. Bright green musto jacket, that one. Very cool. Um, and probably was in my store for a day. So really, really fast sell through that one.
Right, and that's it. So hopefully that kind of gives you an overview of actually what's um, selling at the moment. Uh, feel free to like and send me messages. I'll try and reply as much as I possibly can. Um, but I'm gonna call it there for the video today. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it again. Um, until the next one.